Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome. I'd like you to, uh, first of all, there's the link to the PowerPoint presentation. We're going to get started in a couple of minutes. So uh, if you could just add in the chat box where you're from, and then I'll introduce myself to those who don't know me. Okay, so the doors are open and uh, people are coming in. I hope um, there's no need to push to get through and everybody will uh, get in. So while we're waiting, I'm going to put on a bit of uh, background music. I hope you can hear it. Well, I want everybody to see you put your hands together. And when you learn, you're entertained. And when you're entertained, you learn. You know what I'm saying? All right, everybody, let me see you put your hands together. If when you learn, you're entertained. And when you're entertained, you learn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Levine, and my name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'd like to thank Jason R. Levine for creating that song exactly a year ago, in June of 2013, when we first had our Moodle Luke on Wiz IQ. So uh, lots of claps for Jason. I believe I saw Jay somewhere here in the uh, in the chat attendee list and in the chat box so jason thank you so much publicly for doing that uh if you pay attention to the words they are absolutely amazing so thank you all right i'm going to take away my uh web because it seems to be uh annoying uh technology here where i am so uh welcome welcome to the fourth Moodle MOOC on WizIQ. We started last year, as I said, in June. Uh, there are three Moodle MOOCs a year, June, October, and February. So you're invited to join and join and rejoin. These are the presenters, and I'll explain everything that you need to know. And if you still have questions, you're welcome to ask because that's, uh, that's the way it should be. So feel free to ask. The presenters, there are 28 presenters, including myself. 
and the presenters are from Denmark. I don't think we've ever had Denmark before. It should really be exciting. Denmark, Malaysia, Cyprus, U.S., South Africa, France. This is Jason R. Levine. United States, United States, originally from Russia, now living in the United States. One, two, UK, USA, Nelly, everywhere. We've got Kenya. We've got United States, uh, Japan, originally from New Zealand. We've got Australia. Uh, we've got Argentina, USA, USA, UK, UK, um, UK now. We've got Italy, Guyana. We've got another Italy, Sweden, US, and Greece. All right, so uh, you'll be able to have a chance to meet these wonderful presenters who volunteer their time to give, give these presentations. So uh, I'm really pleased. In addition, you're going to have 34 presentations. Yes, 28 presenters, but presentations. And this MOOC is a little bit different because the focus is going to be twofold. On the presentations, which are about everything, learning and teaching online, and on the Moodle. In other words, you'll get free four-week training for beginners and non-beginners on Moodle. And we're going to focus a great deal on presenting about the Moodle. So I'm really excited about that. And for those of you that have tried Moodle, I'm going to take you by the hand, my virtual hand, and uh, make sure that uh, you learn to Moodle. All right, so before we get started, if you could just add in the chat box, is there a question, a burning question, that uh, you'd like me to think about as I go through uh, the presentations. And I've got a lot to cover, but that's okay. So yes, Hassan, there'll be a lot of moodling this time. And you have a choice. You can either do uh, just the presentations and get a certificate for that, or do just the moodling and get badges for that, or do both. So I'm glad you can hear, David, and good to see you. I haven't seen your name and been in the same environment, virtual environment with you for a long time. So that's great. So a little bit about me. Um, there's my face for peace. And uh, peace is really important uh, to me. And I do everything I can to bring educators from even conflicting countries together so for learning because I do believe that through education and learning together, we can make a difference. Even if there's war uh, between our countries, we can still be together and become friends. So um, I'm known as a relationship-based uh, transformative because a lot of people say that I have changed their lives. I try to build communities and lead as much as I can so that uh, teachers can lead uh, their students. I have uh, a doctoral degree in educational technology, in curriculum and instruction, and technology. And what I do is I help educators. If you click on the image, you'll get more. So let's get started with what we have at hand. All right, yes, I like that, Safa. Since you came with the flowers as your uh, Avatar, you're right, armed with education. Through education and learning together, we can make a huge difference. All right, so if you go to the PowerPoint presentation that I added at the top of the chat box, and if you don't have it right now, you can get it later on by copying the chat. Um, you can get the syllabus by clicking on syllabus, the presentations, list a little bit about the presenters, the Moodle website, the WizIQ area, and YouTube playlists, and a little more. So Moodle MOOC 4 is going to be on two platforms, on WizIQ and on a Moodle, a real live Moodle. By the way, how many of you have never been on a Moodle website? If you could uh, give me a thumbs down 
if you've never been on a Moodle website, and if you have a thumbs up. Yes, Moodle is actually a website. It's a course management system on a website, and I see a lot of people have, which is great. Wonderful. <laughs> That's great. So you realize that it's a website. Well, Moodle MOOC 4, the live presentations. The live presentations, I said there are 34 of them, 34 live presentations. 27 of them have nothing to do, well, some of them may have something to do with Moodle, but they have nothing to do with the Moodle training. And the rest, eight of them, actually, seven of them, have to do with uh, Moodle training I'm going to be giving. Okay, the 28 presenters are right here. You've seen them before, and you're going to get a chance to learn more about them. The WizIQ platform is where you'll be getting the following. How many of you are familiar with uh, WizIQ? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Are you familiar with WizIQ? Okay, some are, some aren't. It's up and down. Okay, all of you should get an account, and the reason is that you'll be getting a lot of information on the WizIQ Moodle MOOC 4 course. And the link to the course is actually uh, right here. Let me get it for you so I can put it in the chat box. Okay, there's the link. Let's see if anybody beats me to it. There we go. There is the link to... Uh, the WizIQ course area. Okay, now let's take a look. The name is in red, and this is what you will see once you join the course. Notice there's a lot of information, and I've been talking a great deal, and I will be continuing the conversation on attentional blink, which means that we miss a lot of information because we blink, and it comes from our brain, not really from our eyes, our brains cannot uh, focus on too many things at the same time, believe it or not. So if you can't remember things, don't feel bad. That's how our brains are wired. So if you look at the left, you certainly won't be able to see information elsewhere. So let's take a look at the left at the blue box. And here you have the course feed. Course feed is this area right here. And this is where you can start a conversation, ask questions, and please, please ask lots of questions. For those of you who know me, you know that I love questions, and I think it's a great way to uh, advance in our learning by asking questions. Okay, in addition, there's the courseware where you'll get information. The settings, I suggest you go into the top right of the course page. Here's the link that I just shared with you and set your settings if you want to be notified by email of any changes that I make or if someone responds and so on. Make sure you tick it off. If you don't, make sure you untick it. Okay, so go into your settings so you have no need to complain of too many email messages. In addition, you'll have announcements right here. If you don't want to get the announcements, tick, untick the area for the announcements. You can share the course on your social network and so on. So let's go to the next one. The next one, you're right, it's the course feed again, but it's larger. Ask questions, comments, and make suggestions. Your suggestions are really, really important, especially to WizIQ, because um, they want to cater to teachers, which is why I've been with them since 2007. I see we've got one of our presenters here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, because they do pay attention to suggestions and try to uh, improve the course management and the live online classes. The courseware is the content. It's called courseware. And this is where you get access to the PowerPoint presentation, the one that I added above, and everything else that the presenters will be using. They're called tutorials. In addition, you'll be getting the links to the live classes, all 34 of them. The recordings are the same links. So if you miss a class, you can get the recordings. Did you hear that? If you miss a class, you can get the recordings. A lot of people seem to um, ask the question, 
which means that there might be a more than a uh, tensional bl uh, blink here. But in any case, if somebody asks, you're welcome to respond to them and let them know that they can get the same recording from the live online class. In addition, there may be assignments, not too many. There's one there right now as feedback to this course, and I hope you're going to click and access it. So it's all about clicking in order to access. So everything in blue is clickable. All right, so um, the best way to learn online is just to go around clicking. Courseware, again, there are a lot more tutorials. Right now there may be four, but there will be at least 34 tutorials, if not more. Uh, so far, we've got a tutorial by Cheryl, Dr. Cheryl. Cheryl, are you in the house? If um, you can say hello there in the chat box. So Cheryl has already uh, sent over her PowerPoint presentation, as well as here's another one from Zaid from Malaysia. Okay, so you'll get the tutorials and the live classes. Any questions so far? There, thank you, Tom. All right. Next, we're still in the course where notice the classes. Under classes, it's clickable. You'll see, okay, this is today's class, and this is the next session tomorrow at 11 a.m. Now, if you don't know what 11 a.m. EST is, simply go to your account and set the settings to your time zone. You will see time zone under your profile. And if you want to know more about WizIQ and how things work, join me. I've got some courses by going into the following. Thank you, Tom. For Tom, by the way, is, going, is my co-facilitator. We're working together. Notice that um, here is my link where you can get all the courses that I give with IQ.com, IT for all. Okay, if you click on that, you'll be able to get all the courses, including this one. Okay, now, as I said, for the certificates, and this is really important. If you want to get a certificate just for the presentations, Okay, give me a thumbs up if you think you only want uh, to get a certificate for the Moodle MOOC uh, for the uh, presentations. Okay, thumbs up if you think you just want the presentations and you're not sure about Moodle, okay, even though you might. Okay, so if you just want to do uh, get a certificate for the presentations, all you need to do is simply uh, reflect on 10 of the live presentations out of the uh, 34. Okay, you need to write a 500 word text and multimedia. Okay, so that's uh, for that certificate. In addition, the Moodle courses. There are two Moodle courses. There, uh, Thomas has added the link to Moodle for Teachers. Everything on the site is free. Okay, all the courses are completely free. Notice uh, you need to sign up. There's lots of information here. So uh, take a look at the boxes when you go into the site. Okay, and the courses and so on. Okay, if you click on the courses, you'll get Moodle MOOCs. This is before you sign up or log in. And then you'll see that there are Moodle MOOC for, uh, there are five courses. One is for the presenters, if there are any presenters here, to get their certificates. And if you want to present next time in October, uh, you'll have a chance to get a certificate for presenting. So presenters get a certificate. In addition, take a look at the blue. There's a Moodle for beginners, as I said before, and a Moodle for non-beginners, which means that you have um, been on a Moodle website. Okay, if you've never been on a Moodle website, you need to be a beginner. Otherwise, you're welcome to join the non-beginners. In the uh, green, this is a chance where the beginners and the non-beginners meet. You have a meeting point. One is the Moodle practice area for teachers. Yes, 
you not only learn about Moodle, you will practice as a teacher with full teacher rights. In addition, you'll have a chance to practice as a manager of a Moodle course with full manager rights. Okay, so it's not about, it's also doing. Okay, you need to sign up. Signing up is probably one of the most difficult things you'll need to do uh, these days. So sign up, fill in all the information. Once you sign up, you log in. Um, Moodle is password protected. Okay, so you need to uh, remember that. Sign up for the Moodle. Thank you for asking, Brenda. Yes, sign up for the Moodle. Um, I think, let me add the link again. Okay, um, it's called, even if you Google it, you'll, you should be able to get it. It's called Moodle for teachers.org. Okay, there it is, moodleforteachers.org. So you sign up there if you want to take the Moodle courses, okay? You may not want to, you may just want to uh, just listen and reflect on the presentations. Okay, so if you forget, and this is really important because many people forget, okay? If you forget your password, don't panic. Simply write your username if you remember or your email address, but not both. I say this and you'll probably forget, so ask next time. All right, so let's look at the beginner's course. The beginner's course is for participants who have never had teacher rights. Notice, a beginner, if you have never had a teacher right. If you've had teacher rights, then you're not a beginner. Okay, so this is a little bit about it. And you enroll. There's no key. The enrollment has opened. The doors are now open. You can join as of now, actually as of today. The non-beginners is exactly the same, but it's only for anyone who has used Moodle as a teacher with editing rights as a teacher. Okay, again, you enroll. The courses are very similar, but not exactly the same. So let's take a look at the Moodle for beginners. This is what it looks like. Help! Okay, notice, what is this? Okay, what is this? Anybody know? Hi, Judy, good to see you. Well, this is Moodle 2.6 and the theme, anybody know what the theme is? Let's see if anybody knows. By the way, in October, we'll be doing Moodle 2.7. Okay, it's still not stable, so we're waiting for it to stabilize. This is for beginners. But what is all this blue? What's the blue, Pamela? Okay, this is a screenshot, Pamela and anyone else, of what you will see when you join Moodle for Beginners. You say stable, David. I don't take a chance until I uh, wait a little bit longer. Okay, um, so I know it's stable, but it depends for whom and how many people you have on your site. So I like to wait a little bit longer. So what we have here, uh, Tom, can you get there? Tom got the link to the sign up page, and then you can get a link to the beginners and um, the non beginners. But I, I'm still waiting for my question and answer. What is all this blue? What is this? Click. Announcements. Week one. Week one. Start here. Introduction. Moodle practice. Resources. What are all these? Week two. Week three. Week four. Badges. Presentations on WizIQ. Reflecting on the live presentation. What is this? No, it's not a syllabus. No, it's not a syllabus. The syllabus is actually right here. If you want to know what the syllabus, let me share the syllabus with you. This is, the syllabus is not there. I didn't add the syllabus this time. I like to change things around. So uh, Moodle MOOC will never be the same because I don't like to do things the same way twice or it. But there's the syllabus if you want to know, but the syllabus is not here. You don't see the word syllabus anywhere, right? Um, so what is this? No, Esther, they're not. They are called menus. 
or tabs. They're actually called tabs and they come with Moodle 2.6 and something called that you have to add, not only Moodle 2.6, it's called, right, they're tabs. You click on them. You see, Moodle is no longer that long scroll. Now you can have tabs. You click and you get a page. So each, like a regular website. Okay, so for the oldies, this is very refreshing. Now the Moodle for non-beginners looks exactly the same. Okay, notice. What are these blue things? The blue things. Let's see if you remembered. Okay, introduction. They're tabs, exactly. Very good, Teresa. You were the first. That's right. You click on the tabs, and you're going to start with week one, because the other ones are going to be hidden. Well, you'll be able to click, but you won't get anything. All right, now. If you go through all the tasks on the Moodle courses, you will get... A badge. Well, you'll get lots of badges. A badge per week. Well, tabs are available. And uh, if you like the theme, it's called Essential. Okay, that's the name of the theme. And I love it. And you'll learn all about what's available when you become a manager. All right. In addition, You'll get the certificates for reflecting on 10 of the live presentations, and you need to do it on the Moodle. So everybody has to join a Moodle. Okay, let's go back a bit before um, to the badges. Okay, the weekly badges. I'm going to take you there to show you what it looks like. But before I take you anywhere, I'd like you to ask one question. One question, okay? in the chat box. Don't make it too long though. And make sure that it's a question. Badge is not a question. What's a badge? Very good, Mustafa. A badge. Any answers from anyone? Wait a minute, John. Uh, I love Moodle, John. I've been using Moodle since 2003 and I haven't looked back. Love it. So, anybody, what is a badge? A colored ribbon? <laughs> Very good, self. I like that. Uh, how do you become an instructor of what? Uh, it's not IT for all. I don't know who asked that question. It's called Moodle for Teachers. Uh, that's where the free courses are. Um, Moodle for Teachers. I... IT for All has some paid courses, moodleforteachers.org, okay? That's the website, and everything there is free. Ah, technology, and it takes practice, uh, but ask me in the course feed, on in the course, okay, on WizIQ, and I'll answer your questions. Very good, Jarek. A badge is a virtual medal for completing the course. But in our case, um, it's going to be completing the week. You get a badge for each week. A badge a week. And it's a great way to sustain learning, and it really motivates. Um, we gave a course, uh, Thomas and I facilitated a course in uh, January and February, and people were going nuts. They were up 24-7. They couldn't go to sleep because they wanted to get the badge. So they would stay up nights just to get the badge. Exactly, Nevis. You're there already. Excellent. That's right. You follow the tabs. And the tabs are on top. Uh, did I miss any questions? How long is the course? Did I get that? How long is the course? The course is for... The course starts today, okay, June 1st, until... Uh, the, 30, the 30th of June, but you can do the assignments uh, until the last day uh, for submission of the assignments is, um, and look at this, it's July, 
Okay, no extension though. July 31st. Okay, but don't wait to the last day. Okay, what are presentations? Good question, Brenda. The presentations, and you can take a look at them. Excellent question. Uh, the presentations, uh, here is a link to the presentations and a little bit about the presenters for everyone. Okay, there's the link. You can copy the chat at the end and get all this information. Yes, I'll be holding hands and we'll have a circle of lots of hands and we'll be helping one another. Okay, it's really about working collaboratively and uh, helping one another. In other words, teaching one another. Okay, but I'll be there and Tom will be there. And I believe David also wants to help Wesker. Or if anybody else is an expert and would like to help, you're welcome. Now, if I missed a question, can you please add it again to the chat box? Let me just pop the chat box out so that I can get a nice uh, big screen so I can see if I missed anything. Um, Teresa, do you know how to get around? Do you know how to... Okay, I see that's Thomas asked a question there. Um, let's see. If I missed a question, what is the tutorial of a class? Uh, Brenda asked, what's a, a tutorial is the content, it's the PowerPoint presentation, audio files, video files, PDF files, Brenda. Excellent questions. Ask, continue asking questions in the course feed, in the course area. Let's see. Um, the requested URL course was not found on the server. Yolanda, which course are you uh, trying to get? Maybe we made a mistake. Oh, I see there. I put the wrong. I put the wrong. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, there is a mistake there. Okay, uh, because I forgot one T. Okay, there it is. Sorry about that. I read what I should create a video tutorial. I'm not an expert. You will learn. Very good, Safa. You will learn how to create demo. Okay, both uh, because the tasks are about creating demos and teaching someone else what you learn. You will be uh, demonstrating what you learned by creating video tutorials using various things, and you'll be learning about that. So it's not really only learning about Moodle, but it's also learning to teach online. Okay, so you will learn how to teach online. And not only online, also learning how to teach in Blended, which is a combination of face-to-face -face and online, and uh, teaching the flipped classroom, which is creating videos in advance. Okay, so you'll have... Um... <laughs> Tom, yes, Tom and I have had enough rest since uh, February. So we'll be on 24-7, definitely. Um, any other, do you ever rest, Tom? Okay, that's not for me. Um, what does reflect mean? Excellent question, Professor Oliver. Reflect, anyone, what is reflect for you? What does it mean to reflect? Tom says, write about your experiences, all right. Tom eats and sleeps virtually. <laughs> Jarek. Uh, yes, that's right, Stella. I'm glad you're here. Yes, it does have that as well. But uh, what have you exactly? It's, and you will learn how to reflect so that you can get your students reflecting too. It's describing and then evaluating yourself in the situation. It's about your learning experiences. And the focus is on the process. Okay, process. You talk about the process and yourself and how you intend to maybe make changes. There's no blame in a reflection. It's about moving forward and not moving backwards. Uh, yes, if we complete the course, we receive a certificate of assistant. No, you receive Percy. You receive a certificate of completion that you completed the course. 
and there's a lot of critical thinking because you do have to uh, look inside and, and see what you've learned. It's a technique. Let's see if there are any other questions. How can you change your experiences to the best? That's a good question. That's a very, very tricky question too. It takes practice. And people do it in different ways. Any suggestions for um, cancer? Good question. Moodle for managers is part of the two courses. And that's a very good question, Poonam. Um, you are automatically registered. If you register for or enroll in Moodle for Beginners, okay, or Moodle for Beginners or Moodle for Non-Beginners, you are automatically enrolled in Moodle for Managers and in Moodle for in Moodle Practice area, automatically. But it won't be available until, well, Moodle for Moodle practice area is for teachers and it will be available, I believe, in week two. And Moodle for managers will be available in week four or no, week three, three or four. Uh, Mustafa, you don't need to pay anything. You don't need to download anything. All you need to do is click and think and ask questions and click again and follow instructions and do a lot of reading and try to avoid attention what am I going to say attention attention what's the next word Blink, exactly, Melissa. You've been paying attention. Very good. Okay, so you're going to learn. Uh, can I meet with you after class? Sure. I'm always available uh, after the live sessions. We can meet uh, in the course feed on WizIQ and on the Moodle. Okay, so course feed and... I'm not interested in Moodle for managers, so do I have to do these? Uh, uh, Kirsten, what do you mean Moodle for managers? Are you interested in the Moodle courses? If you're interested in the Moodle courses, you will be enrolled. You'll have to do some tasks that have to do with Moodle for managers, but I wouldn't worry about that now. It's the last week of the MOOC. So there's still time for that. Okay, that's fine. Kirsten, we'll take it one step at a time. Okay, you don't have to worry about anything. And if you have any questions, you can always email me. And Tom, I'm sure, uh, will be available. I don't like to use Skype so much. Um, but emailing me, you get a response right away. And I'll be able to uh, help you along. Okay, so feel free to email me at any time. If we sign up, can we get teacher resources? Well, Moodle has another meaning for resources, uh, Mustafa. So I'm not sure what you mean, but you'll get a lot of information, a lot of ideas too. Okay, so let me ask you um, this question. How many of you, I'll write the question, how many of you have joined the WizIQ, we'll take it one step at a time, WizIQ Moodle for Moodle MOOC, Moodle MOOC for course area, okay? 
I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Okay, so how many of you? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, Percy, Percy, do you need the link? Percy needs the link. Can can someone provide Percy with a link? That means you have to go there and get the link. Let's see who's going to get there the fastest. Okay, anybody else not sign up? I don't see everybody. I could do a poll to make sure that everybody does. Let's let's try the poll. Okay, let's create a poll. Have you joined the Wiz IQ course area? Oh, I think that no, that is not it. Judy, that's the um that looks like I don't know, it looks like something else, but it could be. So the question is. The question is where to get the link without um, all the additional things on it. Because sometimes that... Okay, so there's the uh, poll. Let's see. Can someone find a link that's shorter? Ah, thumbs up, David. Thumbs up is uh, in at the bottom where you write the information in the chat. Uh, you'll see it. Just above the area where you write, there is a smiley. You click on the smiley, and there you go. Now, the reason it's important to join the WizIQ course here is because that's where you'll be getting the live online sessions and the content, and you'll have a chance to use the course feed to ask questions. Oh, you got it, David. Wonderful. Okay, so let's see. So far, we've got 43 people who voted, but we have 56 in class. That, and so I expect everybody to vote. Okay, so we've, we need another 12 voters. You voted. Okay, 47 votes. Okay, don't be afraid to vote. We need nine. 11, okay, we're getting there. Okay, so I see most of you have joined. Again, the link is right there, I believe. Oh, Nevis added the, uh, wonderful. Listen, teaching online um, is about learning, and it's about learning together. There's so much that you can do online that you can do in the face-to-face -face classroom, and that's collaboration, sharing and teaching each other. It's really learning about learning together. So um, we've got 49 out of the 59. That means 10 people have not voted. Okay. What's a good... Okay, so this is one way of finding out whether people are really here or not. It could be that they're not here. Okay, so most of you have. Let's um, ask another. Okay, let me share the results of the vote. You can see that 52 people out of the 58. So now maybe somebody got booted out. Okay, so do you see the results? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you see the results. I just want to make sure. Do you see the results of the poll? Oh, you do. Wonderful. Okay, just testing. All right, so let me end the poll. And let me start another poll. Um, and that's um, about have, have you joined the Moodle? Um, website. Okay, so the next question is, have you joined the Moodle website? And the poll is going to come. Okay, let's see. And um, again, the link is uh, over here. Well, you write the link. What is the link? Okay, let's see. The link to the Moodle for teachers, the Moodle website. Can someone... Add the, um, the link in the chat box. If you want to see me, there I am. <laughs> Ooh, I see it's not, not... Thank you, Nevis. That was very fast. You're getting good. Pretty soon you're going to be helping Tom and I with the Moodle courses. Two years earlier, I had an account... Ah, you did, Kirsten? I uh, I may have um, removed some people. I'm not sure. Thank you, John Lay. Now, what is that? That must be the next question. A file in Google Drive and put all the Google Drive info and calendar. Um, 
I believe you're, you're looking for, if you go to the syllabus, um, you will find, uh, Percy, you'll find all the information. Everything is there. Every single bit of information is actually, actually every, there are lots, there's a syllabus and there's everything else. And um, I think I made a mistake here. I'll have to fix it. Uh, so first thing, go to the syllabus and everything is actually added to everything. If you notice, everything is added to everything. All the Google Drives. The problem is that not every country has Google Drive. But in any case, oh, thank you, David. You did that. Wonderful. All right. There it is. Excellent. Okay, so I see not everybody has joined the, so please join the uh, Moodle website. I see 50 people have voted out of the 56. Please join. Okay, let me uh, share the results. It's half-half. Okay, there are the results. Do you see the results? Thumbs up if you do, thumbs down if you don't, or smiley, or something positive. Okay, Hassad, if you want, oh, if you're on a an iPad, you might not be able to see the smiley. I'm not sure if you can see it on an iPad. All right, so join the Moodle. Okay, next question. I think that someone has added it. What is the link to the Moodle for beginners? What is the link to Moodle for beginners? Okay, so the next poll is... Have you joined a Moodle for beginners or a Moodle for non-beginners? Now, this should be really interesting. I wonder if it's about the same. Okay, let's see. Whoops. Okay, let's see what comes out with this poll. A lot of no's. A lot of no's. Listen, if you want to get a certificate, you have to go there because you can only get a certificate if you join one of the Moodle courses. So if you want a certificate, you need to join either Moodle for beginners or Moodle for non-beginners. As the And the reason is that Moodle has certificates and WizIQ doesn't have that option yet. Okay, so if you want to get a certificate, you need to go, you need to um, register or enroll in one of the uh, Moodle courses anyways. Okay, so that's for the certificate. Yes, that's the question. So the link to Moodle for beginners, what is the link? Let's see if someone can add that. It's, how long does it take to get in? Two seconds. Thank you, David. Okay, <laughs> Nevis. That's the beginners. Number 30 is the beginners. Notice ID is 30. Let me just check to make sure that that's correct. Okay, I'm checking on you to make sure that that's the beginners. And it is. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So, Nelly, can I have your attention? Yes, of course, Hassan. I have a problem with the password. Because maybe you registered with Facebook. If you um, registered with Facebook, you may not be able to retrieve your password because it's on Facebook. Okay? So, if you want to log in with Facebook, it's not Moodle. It's Facebook that you need to worry about. Okay? So, Hassan... Uh, if you have a problem with a password, it means that you have to ask for a new one. And if that doesn't work, you email me. Okay, so if you have urgent problems, um, that's my email. Okay, and I'll help you right after the session. Um, you can do both, Mustafa. Actually, if you try to enroll in a course and you're not signed up, um, 
it won't let you. It'll ask you to first sign up. So if you click Robson, thank you. If you click on that 30 link that Robson just added, and you're not a member of Moodle for Teachers, you will be prompted to sign up. Okay, so um, Yolanda, there's the link. You see the Moodle for Teachers course links? Okay, now if you go to the um, presentations, and I encourage you to do that. Okay, there I'm sharing the poll. If you go to the uh, presentations, let me get the, uh, the list of presentations. There are actually two lists. One list is... Um, with information about the presenters and their photos. And the other one is just a list of presentations. So if you go to this list of presentations, I'm adding it to the chat box. Okay, if you go to this list that I've just added to the chat, you'll notice that there are only Moodle presentations. And notice when you have the Moodle presentations. Okay, notice, when is the first Moodle presentations? Okay, please go into the presentations, uh, the link. When is the first, the first Moodle presentation? When is the first one? Well, this one's not really, this one's just an opening ceremony with that. Uh, it's not today, no. It's tomorrow, exactly. Okay, it's on June 2nd. Thank you, Poonam. That's right, Jarek. It's tomorrow. Okay, for some of you from Australia, it's, it might be tomorrow now. Camille, right. Okay, and the first session is about the layout of Moodle. It's how to get started. So if you didn't manage to get started today, you'll have a chance to only work on Moodle tomorrow. And thank you, David. It's resources on Moodle and how to create videos, okay? And this is uh, teaching online and learning online because not only teachers create videos, but students do too. And the time you have to uh, click, there's a link there to get the right time, okay? Let me, let me do that for you. The right time uh, is, Okay, the right time is this. So if you click on this link, please click on it and tell me what time is it going to be in your area tomorrow, just out of curiosity. It's going to be 11 a.m. in Eastern Standard Time in Toronto, but what time is it going to be in your area? So for each presentation, 6 p.m. Hassan, 10 a.m. Alyssa, let's see. 10.30 for Tom, 5 for Luthar, 10 for Mustafa, noon for Stella, that means 12 noon, right? 10 for Pamela, 6 p.m., I see, see we've got 8 p.m., 4 p.m., 4, you can see the people that are in your time zone, 5 p.m., 5 p.m., 11 in Tampa, Florida, 6 p.m. Okay, so as you can see, Every single presentation also has, on that page that I shared with you, also has the exact time. Okay, so uh, there's no excuse for coming late. Okay, so if you go to, again, the link. Okay, there it is. Okay, sorry, I, I gave you the wrong link. There's the link. Okay, there's the presentation link and everything's there. Now, if you go to... Um, I've got about five minutes. I wanted to take you to the course. But if you go to this PowerPoint presentation of today's session, it also appears in the courseware. But if you go to that link, you'll be able to get all the information right here. Okay. The syllabus, the presentations about the presenters, the Moodle website, the WizIQ area, and the YouTube playlist. And today, I'm going to add the first video to the playlist. Okay, thank you, uh, Ricardo. 
I'll try on the laptop, though the apps and I cannot do any of them. Yes, there's a... Pr no, you can work on Moodle. There is an apps for Moodle, by the way. For those that are interested, there is an apps for Moodle on uh, a smartphone as well as on an iPad or tablet. So there is a Moodle apps that you can work with. Um, my students love to use their smartphones, so they that's how they get into their Moodle. Uh, the time zone, Jarek has a great... Jarek, can you share your link? Jarek was kind enough to create a page on Google, Google Sites, which is really, really useful, so that you can check your time zone. But in addition, I've also added it. There it is. Thank you, uh, Jarek. Uh, and this, this is the kind of sharing that uh, can only happen online <laughs> because you can't do this face-to-face. -face. And notice what Jared did. And I think this is a wonderful initiative and I really, um, you deserve um, lots of claps uh, from everyone and virtual hugs and kisses, as they say, because, you know, it's, uh, it's not something that you see face-to-face, -face, but online there's so much sharing going on. People really, um, and, and which is why I love and I've been teaching online, People really appreciate and go out of their way to help out. Yes, <laughs> that's right, Josephina. Hello, good to see you. That's right. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for adding that. By the way, if you're not a native speaker of English, I use Google. I don't know if it's correct. I use Google Translate. You may, there are a lot of people from different countries. So uh, feel free to use your language and we can translate. All right, so thank you, Jerry. All right, so we're almost uh, finished with the first session. And um, you'll have a chance to ask lots of questions. And you may begin. Yes, let the show begin, as they say. And um, yes, this is the final session, the first and the end of the session. So I'd like to thank you for joining us and happy mood link. Enjoy uh, the process. So uh, with that, I'd like to go back and um, listen to Jason about the MOOC. So here's Jason you Arlevin. You put your hands together. And when you learn, you're entertained. And when you're entertained, you learn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's Jace. We're in the mood, old mood, in Wiz IQ. At the crew, we pursue, renew, and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. We're open source. As a group, we pack force. The loop is all we are. Wherever we are, near and far, we have learned to learn. We yearn to connect. Our intellects intersect, reflect, and inject. Much love into our context with mutual. All right, everybody, let me see you put your hands together. If when you learn, you're entertained. And when you're entertained, you learn. You know what I'm saying? M double O to the D L E. M to the O. In Wiz IQ. As a crew, we the O to the C. We're in the mood, old mood. In Wiz IQ. As a crew, we pursue, renew, and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ. There's so much we can do. We're open source as a group. We pack force. The loop is all we are. Wherever we are, near and far, we align to learn. We yearn to connect. Our intellects intersect, reflect, and inject much love into our projects with mutual respect. There's no limit to our prospects. We yearn to connect. Our intellects intersect, reflect, and inject much love into our projects with mutual respect. There's no limit to our prospects. We're in the mood, old mood, in Wiz IQ. As a group, we pursue, renew, and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. We're in the mood, old mood, in Wiz IQ. As a group, we pursue, renew, and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. For a massive class to help.
how class would be a blast that has to surpass this other class of flukes they call moops. Don't conceal the real deals, the seal. We gotta Thanks. socially engage on the See world you tomorrow stage. with the resources the class on the Moodle. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Don't conceal the real and you're invited to join another class on Google Drive stage. if you're interested. Okay, there's one more class. Do it with today. me now. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Socially engaged.